Hey guys, so I decided I wasn't going to use music for my YouTube videos anymore. Um, they keep getting demonetized. I don't know why I try to use music that doesn't have copyright, but I still end up having issues with YouTube demonetizing the videos because of the music. So maybe no more music. So decidí que ya no iba a poner música en los videos porque YouTube me deja de pagar por la música. No sé por qué. Uh, so creo que a lo mejor ya no voy a usar música. He estado bordando bastantes um, batas de quinceañera. I've been doing a lot of rows for quinceañeras, which has been so fun. Here is one. This color combination is so pretty. And um, here in the next clip, I did a second quinceañera robe, which they didn't want the word quinceañera. They just wanted the name. Para esta bata no quisieron quinceañera, quisieron el puro nombre de la quinceañera um, que los colores están tan bonitos el rosa con dorado y el otro azul con plateado también está tan lindo so also i've been doing a lot of shirts with the white toner printer which i kind of never really record because it's just so simple you just print it out and slap it on the shirt so i don't I always catch myself not recording it and then I'm like, oh my god, I should have recorded that. But here's a clip of me doing some of those shirts. Aquí estoy imprimiendo um, esos diseños para unas camisas. Siempre se me olvida grabar esto, este, esta parte del trabajo porque como es tan rápido, nada más imprimir y ponerlos en las camisas se me hace tan rápido y no tiene chiste. Este, pero si um, usé mi impresora, se llama Luminaries 200. Tengo un link en la descripción si quieren um, comprarla. I do have a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, I do have a white toner printer. So here's one shirt. She wanted it in Spanish. Lo quería en español. Hermano, papá. Hermanos with the age, right? Uh. So, and then I still have to do the mom one, which um, I need the shirt. I don't have it, so I have to go look for it. Hey guys, so I have a jersey that I have to do for my neighbor. She's turning 15, so they're doing this like 15 jersey type of thing. I don't know. Um, esta camisa, tengo que hacer una camisa para mi vecina, su niña va a cumplir 15 años y esto va a ir en una jersey. So, estoy tratando de jugar con el tamaño, I'm just playing with the size. You know, if you click the one, it'll put it right exactly the size that it is. Like, for example, right here, I zoomed out, and then if you click one, that's the actual size. Crazy, I didn't know that. Um... So, okay, I'm going to zoom out just to see. And then this. Phew! Sorry. <laughs> this is 8 by 2 inches. I think I'm going to. 8 is not that bad, actually. Let's see, 9. Maybe, you know what? I think the number. Oh, the number is too big. I think the number is too big. The number is too big. 5. I want it to be like, I don't want it too close to each other. I want them like that. That's a good space, I think. What do you think? So right here, I'm just hooping 
the stabilizer and then i am going to float the jersey over top of that which i've showed in my channel many many times aquí estoy poniendo el estabilizador en el aro primero y voy a flotar la camisa por encima en vez de meterla en el aro y estoy usando un spray que um, lo hace pegajoso para poder poner la camisa encima y que no se mueva so i did use the basting spray to make the stabilizer sticky and then uh, float the shirt over top. That way the shirt won't move when um, it's embroidering. Así de esta manera la, la camisa no se va a mover cuando se esté bordando. Y decidí que lo iba a hacer en dos partes. So, primero puse, voy a bordar el apellido y después lo voy a sacar de la máquina del aro y voy a volver a flotar para poner el número. So, decidí... So I did decide to do this in two parts. Um, I kind of broke the design apart. So I am going to do the last name first and then remove it from the hoop after it's embroidered and then re-hoop again and do the number just because I didn't want them so close to each other. I didn't want the number right beneath the, the last name. So and therefore it was not going to fit in the hoop. I could have used the bigger embroidery machine. I could have used the MT-1501. But because I already had this machine um, set to do with the bigger hoop, and it's only one shirt that I had to do, I didn't want to go through the whole removing the arms and everything on the other machine and then having to attach the table and stuff, like, just for one shirt. You know what I'm saying? Um, pude haber usado la otra máquina, la de 15 agujas, que tiene un aro más grande y así no tuve que haber quitado la camisa y volverla a poner para bordar el número. Pero es que como ya tenía esta, esta máquina um, con el aro grande y solo era una camisa la que tenía que bordar, no quise hacer todo el proceso con la otra máquina ya que tenía esta yo um, arreglada con el aro grande. So, por eso decidí hacerlo en dos pasos. Y aquí usé tela con brillo y usé dos pedazos porque si estaba algo... Um, se veía un poco la tela de abajo si solo usaba un pedazo de tela. So, decidí usar dos pedazos para que se viera bien blanco. So, I did use two pieces of fabric. You can see right here, I used one and then another one over top just because you could kind of see the color of the shirt through the fabric right that you can kind of see it right there on the side so that's why i did use two um pieces of fabric just so the color would be more strong like the white and then right here i'm just cutting that out very self-explanatory and then after i'm done i just pretty much removed it from the hoops tore away the cutaway stabilizer. Um, al último, quito la camisa del aro y rompo el estabilizador y lo llevo a la máquina, a la máquina no, a la plancha para planchar y que todo se, mira, se mire bien um, planchadito y se ve todo más mejor. So, after this, after this, I did take it to the heat press and press that so it could have a much um, better look to it. You'll see right here, it looks kind of wavy. And then once you press that, it looks really, really nice. And this is the final look of the jersey. Así es como quedó, bien planchadita. Y le di otra planchada. I did press it one more time so that I could um, package that up. Okay, guys, it's a whole new day. Es otro día completamente diferente. Um, tengo unos cuantos tutus que hacer. I have several tutus to make. That's one, two, three, four, five. And those gotta go out today. Um, estos tienen que salir hoy. Hoy es lunes, agosto 28, 29, no me acuerdo. Um, y les quería decir que Recoma ahorita está teniendo un sale por Labor Day. So they are having a sale for Labor Day. If you guys want to take advantage of that. I get questions about the embroidery machines all the time. Siempre me hacen preguntas de las máquinas. Abajo tengo un link. Um, si usan mi link, les dan 100 dólares de descuento. Y ahorita están teniendo envíos gratis. So de ahorita a septiembre 9 van a tener esta oferta. Si quieren aprovechar. So they are running their sale, their Labor Day sale from now to
to September 9th. And remember, if you do use my link, you do get $100 off. Um, just putting that out there. You don't have to use my link if you don't want to. Um, and yeah, I have them for $135 a month. That, um, remember, it does end September 9th. So, and my link is in the description. Tengo el link en la descripción. Si les interesa, también tienen uh, mi máquina de de imprimir que hago las camisas como las que enseñé de la vaquita también las hice con uh, Luminaris 200 esa también es de Ricoma también tengo un link en la descripción I also have a link for the white toner printer in the description so just putting that out there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these tutus I don't have any of the shirts done tengo que hacer sus tutus no tengo ninguna de las camisas hechas Oh my god, and I want to show you something that I made. Les quiero enseñar algo que hice. Give me a second. Check this out. This is so cute. So it's a diaper cover and then the little um, rainbow. It's the top part, which this will cover the baby's chest. Um, este lo hice con la MT1501. Hice el applique en esa máquina. Y luego este es el calzoncito. Esto debe de cubrir el pecho. Um, it's just missing the uh, straps, which I have an awesome idea. Me faltan los tirantes. Que yo quería usar este. Kind of goes with that, right? Como tirantes. So I wanted it to be like this. I don't know. Like the this is kind of very pastel, and these aren't so pastel. So I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks kind of off. But in person, in the camera, it looks a little more washed out than than what it looks like in person. I don't know. I'm still not done with it, but I thought it was such a cute idea. I've seen similar stuff um, on Pinterest and on Etsy, and I think it's so cute. I did one with uh, Minnie Mouse, which that sold like crazy fast. It's not done. See, it's still open right here. That has to be like that. Then the diaper. There's room for diaper. And then it just needs the straps. Le faltan los tirantes. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do these off camera. I just really wanted to upload something and let you guys know about the sale. Um, voy a hacer estos fuera de cámara. Que al cabo que ya me han visto muchas veces hacer los tutus. Um, si quería avisarles de um, la oferta que tienen ahorita. Y subir algo a YouTube. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what I'm going to upload next. I'm getting like seriously burnt out. I don't even know what to upload anymore. Maybe I could do. I want to say a tutorial on this. Because I don't have a pattern. No tengo un. un no sé un. un um, whatever you call this in Spanish. No sé uno de estos para. Para eso solo lo hice. Como yo pensaba que debería de ir. So, I don't have a pattern for it. I just used the diaper cover that I already had. And then just kind of measured side to side on, on this part. So, I don't know. If I figure it out, I'll make a video. But don't wait for it. So, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.